Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. If you are watching this, then you must have been using mobile phone for a very long time. But have you ever considered the fact that your mobile phone battery has 3 terminals? And do you know why this is so? Well, some mobile phone batteries have 3 terminals, while some have 4 terminals. Now why this question is so curious in the first place? Well, because every battery we see around us have only 2 terminals, either positive and negative. Whether it be a simple 9V battery, a inverter battery, or any other kind of batteries all have just two terminals. Then why in the world mobile phone batteries have more than two terminals? Let's find out. Every cell phone batteries have these two terminals. Obviously, one will be positive and another one will be negative. But its third terminal can either be VTAMP or BSI. And if it is a 4 terminal battery, then one terminal will be BSI and another terminal will definitely be BTAMP. So if you have 3 terminal battery, then its end terminal are positive and negative and its middle one will be BSI or BTAMP. BSI stands for Battery Status Indicator or Battery System Indicator. Now the work of this terminal is to give the information to the processor like type and size of the battery. In other words, when you plug in your battery to the mobile phone, this BSI pin automatically generates signal which it sends to the processor and then processor determines the type and size or capacity of the battery which ultimately helps the processor to find out the voltage and current of the battery. Another important function of this terminal is this. Let's say your phone is on and you suddenly remove the battery. Then this BSI pin immediately interrupts and tells the processor to shut down all communication thus to prevent damage of your data or your mobile phone. Now BTAM stands for battery temperature. As the name itself suggests, it gives the information to the processor regarding the temperature of the battery. This terminal is connected to a thermistor, which is internally connected to a temperature sensor to prevent the battery in case it overheats. Now if you don't know what a thermistor is, this is a simple simulation showing you how what exactly it does and how it works. Now as you can see, as temperature decreases, its resistance increases and as temperature rises, its resistance again decreases. So yes, you can say it kind of work like an LDR, whereas an LDR changes its resistance uh, according to the light falls on it, this thermistor changes its resistance due to the temperature of its surroundings. Hence this terminal actually gives the information about percentage of charge remaining in your battery to the processor or mobile phone, thus in some way it helps the processor to control charging current and status, thus to ensure longer battery life. Now whenever you will see a battery with 4 terminals. You exactly know what are these terminals. One is positive, another one is negative, one is BSI or battery system indicator and last one will be its battery temperature. That's all for today. 